What's up you guys? Welcome to another video on my channel, Scale Freaks. This is Daniel. This time um, I want to go with a video on uh, race weathering. A uh, long time ago I decided to put together this Jaguar Hasegawa. I got really frustrated with the uh, decals. They're pretty messed up. I don't know if because they're old or just the quality, but they're super thin. I got frustrated and I threw the car away. So it sat there for a bit. Now I decided to put it back together and show you guys how to weather a race car. So pretty much we need to understand what happens at a racetrack. That way we can uh, do the weathering accordingly. So I'm showing you a couple of pictures of tires. Uh, what is all this crap on top of the tire? So they are made of a special compound, a special rubber that uh, the hotter you get it, uh, it melts. This way you create more grip on the track. I am pretty sure a lot of you guys know, but others uh, don't, they don't know. So I'm trying to explain. Um, all these pieces, they, you know, they get thrown everywhere. So the other car picks them up at the track and these are all these little black dots and marks that I have in front of them. Also, um, on endurance racing, there's a lot of smoke, dust, and you know, the car keeps collecting all that stuff uh, throughout the track. So again, um, we can see that the idea is how to replicate all that stuff that, that we see on the cars. Uh, all those, uh, the crews, whenever they touch the car, they, you know, they pass their hands so you can see the, the handprints. First, I started with a clear gloss coat. Uh, it's nothing, you know, nothing fancy, just a regular clear coat. And here you can see how, how it sits. I kind of like fixed a couple of the, the decals and uh, just threw uh, a light coat of uh, gloss. This way, everything's protected. So whatever we do on top, it doesn't interfere or it doesn't lift or mess up the, the decals. After the clear, um, what I did, uh, just a regular wash, you know, with soapy water, anything that you guys can find, just a regular wash to kind of like go in the in the panel lines and the accent details. Nothing, nothing crazy. This is the first step that I did. Go through the whole car, uh, have it sit, uh, let it dry. And then you, you guys can remove it with uh, another cloth or in this case I use a cotton swab. There's a, there's a lot of uh, methods or techniques on how to do this. You guys can pick your own. I just used, uh, again, water with a little bit, very little soap, and then um, pigments. Moving on to the windshield. So this is how I decided to mask the windshield. First, um, you grab the wiper. So you figure out how the wiper moves on the windshield. That's the first step. So if you think about it, there's three points that you need to have. The, the lower point, the lower radius, then the higher radius, and then the pivot point. That's where the wiper goes on the, on the car. So you kind of like simulate the way that thing moves and then it's going to give you some lines. You know, you can draw them, you can use a compass, whatever you guys prefer. This is how I did it. And then uh, you figure out where the wiper starts and where it ends. So that's going to be your whole shading area of the, of the moving wiper. 
Um, I did it with masking tape, cut it with scissors, and then ended up with a uh, the template or the mask that I'm gonna use for the for covering the windshield so weathering doesn't get on the windshield at that spot. Um, again, locate the wiper, see where it sits, and then that's how you can position the, the masking tape on the windshield. That way it, it looks more accurate. For all those uh, rubber dots or marks that it leaves on the, on the car, I decided to do with a Tamiya Panaline uh, accent color. It's just a regular black. Um, you grab it, you dab the, the brush, and then you clean it a little bit. You don't want it soaking because then, you know, you're going to have a big print. It's just barely little marks that you want to leave. Kind of like whenever those little pieces of rubber bounce off the car, they leave marks. They kind of like paint the car, if you want to call it like that. So you start going pretty much think or study the pictures, how those the pieces of rubber start hitting the car in which direction. Sometimes they're random, but mostly they're from the front to the back. <clears throat> As the car, you know, of course, is moving forward. And then whenever it gets behind another car, all those little pieces fly away. So the car hits them uh, as it's moving behind it. Um, you can, you know, you can uh, drag them with another brush. Use your finger to kind of like fade. They're, they're not all the same perfect, you know, uh, shade of black. Sometimes they're faded. Sometimes they just like leave like a little shade. It depends on how bad or, or hard you want to weather the car. I know that uh, some people like their weathering light. Some other people like it, you know more aggressive um, here's how of the the front of the car looks I did a little bit um, again you have to decide how much you want remember that the sides of the tire its own tires are gonna be leaving those marks on the side of the car as well uh, for touch-up you can do it at the beginning or at the end just remember that this is based off of alcohol so this marker is based off of alcohol so it might remove whenever you use alcohol later i'll explain you why so you can do more precise marks here with a marker you can do it at the end if you guys don't want to do it at the beginning because then you're going to be using alcohol so i'll let you guys know when After that's done, you guys can pick any body lotion, uh, hand lotion, whatever, cheap, expensive, whatever you want. I, I just chose this one. It was what I had handy. So with this, um, you put it somewhere, grab the finest uh, brush that you can. And what we're going to do here, it's kind of like mask the, the body with body lotion. So whenever we're spraying the weathering on top, I'll show you guys later what we're going to spray. Um, you guys can remove the body lotion with a cotton swab or like another brush. So it's going to look like handprints, like whenever the crew, you know, uh, move their hands where, where it's dirty. So whenever they're changing a tire, touching the car, cleaning stuff, whatever, pit, refueling. So all these handprints are going to stay on the car and that's how, that's how it looks at the end of the race. Um, you guys can refer to the pictures again. So choose everywhere. Just think about where the car gets touched by the crew. And then um, that's how you're going to figure out, you know, around the, the doorknobs, around the tire, the wheel wells, uh, whatever they feel, uh, whoever puts their hand. So this is what I use for, for the actual dust. Um, grab alcohol and then I create my own pigments. Remember, these are dry pastels. You just file them around and then you get all these uh, little powder, so uh, pigments. Then I use a solution of alcohol. Um, use plenty of alcohol. Remember that this is going to be like a mist. This is the first coat. 
I airbrushed it on top, you guys can focus on on where it gets more uh, dust or dirt. So the car, you know, keeps accumulating depending on aerodynamics. Again, refer to pictures so you'll see where the car gets mo most of the of the dirt attached to the body. Here I'm removing uh, excess of the of the dust. I'm creating kind of like streaks going back with a fine brush. Remember, this is dry, guys. Don't try to do it with a wet um, brush because you'll you'll end up messing it up. So this this is simulating streaks. Go through the body, take remove a a little bit. That way, some parts have more dust than others then we're gonna spray it again we're gonna airbrush it again this is the part that i was talking about this is alcohol so be very very gentle uh don't leave it soaked remember to almost dry the cotton swab that way the cotton swab it's only removing remember the the lotion that you put on the bottom as masking so the cotton swab will be removing just those sections and then leaving the rest I mean if you guys do it way too hard or too wet it's going to remove everything so it's not gonna have the the desired look of handprints and fingerprints go very very gentle uh, again I use the cotton swab in, in certain parts and then to kind of like mix it and, and do the a better effect, I use a very fine brush. Also, the, the brush is wet with alcohol. It's hard to remove the the dust or the whatever residue it was laid with the airbrush. But where there, but where the lotion is sitting, that's going to be very, very easy to remove. You can see the the whole dust coming off on, on those spots. So you have to remember where you add it, otherwise you'll forget and it'll stay there, and you know it doesn't create what you want. So we're going to go over really quick uh, on what we have done to the car so far. Remember, first we started with uh, little marks, the, the black with the Tamiya panel line. That's how you simulate the little rubber pieces bouncing off the body. After that, we moved on to masking with body lotion, doing handprints, fingerprints, all those little uh, marks that you see on the body after the pit crew have been touching and rubbing and leaning against the car, whatever. So we did first coat of dust, uh, you know, dirt, all that stuff that gets collected throughout the, the racetrack. Uh, we cleaned it a little bit, then we do another one. Um, then we remove with alcohol the fingerprints where we left the body lotion. That way we get the effect you guys can, can see throughout the car. All those little handprints. Then, um, then we go with removing the masking tape from the windshield, and uh, you gotta be very careful with this part. Remember that any little nick is gonna leave a mark. So this is what I was talking about. Uh, I added this other step. Remember the marker. You guys can do a touch up at the end. Here's a little clean, but you guys you can still do it after all the dust and everything's on top. Just to do more precise touch-up uh, little marks with with a fine marker you guys can do any but remember it has to be very fine that way you can do very tiny little dots and spots that you cannot do with a, with a brush
You guys thought I forgot about the tires? Well, no, this is it. Um, slicks. Remember all that molten look where that's melted throughout the track? So this is what I discovered. I don't know if you guys uh, knew, but if you use uh, Tamiya, the thin cement, that thing melts uh, rubber. So I thought, huh, how can we try and accomplish the, the same look or the same effect of a used uh, slick throughout the track? So, so what we do, we lay a little bit of uh, Tamiya thin on top of the tire and then you start scrubbing it with the finger. Eventually it starts melting and creating those little uh, parts or particles. Another thing, remember that you always uh, sand your your tires to get rid of the uh, seam line. So all those little pieces of rubber, you guys can add them on top like this. And then still with uh, the Tamiya Thin Cement, kind of like create these, these little pieces. And they're very fine and, and tiny, so it goes perfect with the scale of the car. This is how I do my race leaks. I'm showing you guys the end result. Um, at the end, I'll show you some other cars that I've done the same. Um, depending on the brand, Hasegawa, Tamiya, um, the tire or the rubber that they make the tires with, uh, sometimes it melts a little easier, sometimes it takes more time, sometimes you have to add more of that little residue after sanding the, the tires. Uh, it depends. So you guys experiment with a tire and then you'll see uh, what it does so you guys can achieve the desired effect. This is my version of a weather car. Uh, remember, this happens mostly on uh, endurance races where cars go for hours and hours and hours without getting any cleaning um, or anything done. In modern races, I have seen that uh, race cars use like a film, mostly on World Endurance Championship. Uh, lately, what they do, they have a like various layers of like a clear plastic on the windshield so instead of like somebody from the crew jumping on the windshield and cleaning the whole windshield they just kind of like remove one layer of uh, of this clear plastic so then of course you know on the bottom everything's perfectly clean that way they save time they say that that guy you know he just peels it off and then he can go and do something else um, this is another car that I did before. Uh, of course, weathering is a little bit different. Uh, you guys can see the tires, the same kind of look. Um, well, hope you guys liked the, the video. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas, um, opinions, concerns, anything you guys want. Let me know. Hit me up. Um, I always try to answer every question. And please follow, subscribe, like, you know, the whole deal. Thank you for watching.